Canada ranks as the 21st in the world for Internet usage with 31.77 million users as of July 2016 This is 89.8% .8 of the population. <laughs> Web use According to the CIRA 2013 Factbook, Canadians spend more time online than anyone else in the world—an average of 45 hours a month. They also watch more online video, with an average of 300 views per month in 2011. The most popular websites in Canada are major sites such as Google, Facebook, and YouTube. The 17th most popular website, Pornhub is headquartered in Montreal, Quebec. The most popular native Canadian websites are the major Canadian news media companies, which maintain an extensive web presence. According to a February 2008 report by Comscore, the most popular Canadian sites are Quebecor Media, principally Canoe.ca, followed closely by CTV Globe Media, which includes Globandmail.com and CTV.ca. According to Harvard researchers, Canada has some of the lowest Internet standards among OECD countries, as a result of high costs and slow Internet speeds. topic file sharing Canada has the largest number of file sharers per capita in the world in general the unauthorized copying or distribution of copyrighted material whether for profit or for personal use is illegal under Canada's Copyright Act However certain exemptions are made for fair dealing copying of small portions of copyrighted works for activities such as private study criticism and news reporting Furthermore the act allows that the copying of sound recordings of musical works for the personal use is not copyright infringement This is supported by a levy on blank recording media which is distributed to record labels and musicians although not evenly while the unauthorized downloading or uploading of complete copyrighted works such as books, movies, or software is illegal under the Act, the situation regarding music files is more complex. <laughs> Fiber optic networks Multiple providers, including Bell Canada and Rogers Communications in Eastern Canada, TELUS Internet in BC and Alberta, and SaskTel in Saskatchewan have made investments into upgrading their infrastructure to provide last-mile fiberoptic connectivity, or fiber to the home in December 2016, local company MNSI Telecom announced a $35 million fiber build in Windsor, Ontario. In July 2015, the CRTC ruled that major telecoms providing fiber to the home must allow smaller providers to purchase wholesale access to their networks. Bell Canada attempted to oppose the ruling, but failed. Topic. Comparison The following table summarizes residential broadband offerings in Canada. No provider is nationwide and the chart does not include abilities of customer equipment or the speeds after peer-to-peer -peer traffic shaping. In particular, some products are up to the speed quoted and may not deliver that speed in all areas. Since plans may change at any time, this list is not comprehensive. Some additional ISPs and their plans can be found on Canadian ISP, however, even this list is not necessarily up to date. Regional Canadian ISPs peer through a few major Internet exchange points, the most notable of which is the Toronto Internet Exchange. However, these regional networks usually share the same backbones for longer distance connectivity. The largest DSL provider in Canada is Bell Internet formerly Bell, Simpatico. Bell owns and maintains physical layer connectivity through a combination of optical fiber networks, DSL-AM and customer premises equipment. 
In British Columbia BC, Alberta AB, and parts of Quebec QC, the incumbent Talco is TELUS, owning the DSLAMs and fiber, providing many of the same services Bell does. The other major players offering DSL and IPTV services are SaskTel in Saskatchewan and Manitoba Telecom Services MTS in Manitoba. Download speeds are up to 25 megabits per second for average users, though recent upgrades now make HDTV and much higher rates possible. For cable offerings, standard North American DOCSIS based equipment are used. The largest cable Internet providers in Canada are Shaw Communications Western and Rogers Cable Eastern offering Internet speeds of up to 1,000 megabits per second. Usage-based billing UBB. Internet bandwidth limits and caps are considered by many to be too restrictive, due to the increasing popularity of online streaming media services such as Netflix, which require large amounts of bandwidth. The decision to impose bandwidth caps on smaller independent ISPs caused controversy in 2011 when the Canadian Radio Television and Telecommunications Commission, CRTC, Canada's telecommunications regulator, approved a request by Bell Internet to begin, on March 1, 2011, to apply a bandwidth cap on the users of smaller independent ISPs who use Bell's last mile infrastructure. This new billing structure is called, "...usage-based billing", or UBB. Bell pushed for a cap as small as 25 gigabytes of transfer per month, plus a $1 to $2 Canadian dollars surcharge for every GB over the limit. The stated intent was to prevent the customers of independent ISPs from congesting Bell's network, because many independent ISPs offer service with unlimited bandwidth, while most major Canadian ISPs do not. The CRTC was criticized for allowing Bell to use anti-competitive practices to favor its own Internet and television offerings. Bell is also under fire for forcing its own pricing structure and business on its wholesalers. Bell admits that more than 10% of its subscribers at the time of said download cap exceed their limit, resulting in additional billing. Many savvy internet users also accuse Bell of falsifying information to the public regarding network congestion. Network congestion is primarily caused by many users accessing the internet at the same time after school, work, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. and not by heavy users alone. Similar criticism was levied when Eastlink Rural Connect applied UBB in July 2015, which many users reported made peak time congestion worse. See Broadband for Rural Nova Scotia initiative for this and related wireless broadband congestion problems. On February 2, 2011, Industry Minister Tony Clement and Prime Minister Stephen Harper called on the CRTC to reverse the decision. The next day, the CRTC announced that it would delay its decision by 60 days. There are some supporters for usage based billing at lower rates instead of the current $2 per gigabyte. One example is TechSavvy, providing light. Cable internet services, 6 megabits per second down, one quarter of a megabit per second up, at $30.95 per month with 300 gigabytes, equivalent to around 10 per gigabyte. Rogers High Speed Internet offers internet access at the same speed for $41.49 per month, but with only 20 gigabytes, equivalent to around $2.07 per gigabyte. The difference of $1.97 per gigabyte between the two providers is one key reason why consumer advocates oppose UBB. Some also claim that it costs the incumbents as low as 3 per gigabyte. Supporters also suggest that instead of a penalty-based system, heavy users pay more, a credit-based system, light users be credited back monthly would be much more consumer-friendly and fair. Topic. See also List of Internet service providers in Canada 
Censorship in Canada Hashtag Internet Science and Technology in Canada Social Networking in Canada Demographics of the Canadian Political Blogosphere Broadband for Rural Nova Scotia Initiative CANARIE, National Research and Education Network ACORN NS, Merlin, Orion, RISQ, SRNet, Provincial Research and Education Networks in Canada Canadian Internet Registration Authority, Canada's top-level domain registrar in charge of CA, 